even in in the there is a lot of sort of moments of self doubt and sort of you know sadness and taking a hit. But even in the the most depressing moments, I think without even trying, we we ended up with a little bit of hope as well. And I think even some of the s- saddest songs, it's not just like oh you know everything's crap and I'm sad and you know poor me and you know it, all of it and I think that was important and I think I didn't even think we realized that it's just like we would never really be in our nature to just write a uh, you know because we are very lucky and but at the same time no matter what is going on in anyone's life no matter how successful they are how successful they appear to be you know there's always struggles there's always inward struggles whether you're you you've You've had, as I say, whether you've been successful in whatever your career is, if you've been successful in love or whatever, there's always times where people feel down, and 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 I, we decided to sort of be honest with that because we were going through a bit of a struggle with the band, and you, and you were saying to us backstage that you worked with Atlantic, was it, and, and yeah. Ireland, and we were signed to Ireland Records in the UK, and it was all about to happen with us for the last record we felt and. And we took a knock with that and, and, and we ended up leaving. It didn't really go that great. And we set up our own label and we had to readjust and sort of refocus and, and, and regain our ambition. And, I, and we, when we were sitting down to write this album, we said, well, what can we write about? And it's like, well, let's just, let's write about that. Let's write about what we are going through as we always done, you know? And it's funny, I think a lot of people could end up relating to that, even though we're talking about the band and we're talking about, but it's stuff that people can relate to. It's self-doubt, it's sort of trying to, refocus and and you know and egging each other on and giving yourself a break that's the second last song we played there give me a minute it's about it's okay to give yourself a pat on the back every now and again and go you know what you should be applauded you're you're okay like you know Extended play sessions. We are the Coronas, and this song is called Real Feel. Searching for, and I've got to admit, I wasn't ready for a real feel person. Roll over by the real feel person, real feel person. I think I'm ready to waste no time saying things that may sound just a little. Person that should ever lie, and I'd never admit I think I'm ready for a real person.
see us in the middle You know I'm the kind of person who just lets it out So before I admit, at least I'm heading with a real Never one for waiting I never got that low I never got that low I text you out of the blue Sometimes it's just so easy to let a good feeling go 
Uh, I tend not to write too much when I'm on when we're on tour. We, we work best when we did this most recent album. We locked ourselves away in, in this little house in Dingle, which is in the southwest corner of Ireland in County Kerry, and it's a beautiful place, like really, really lovely. Like, and we sort of locked ourselves away, and you know, just the four of us in the house just lifted the gear in, moved the couches, and there was no bells and whistles, no crew, no none of this amazing lights or, you know, <laughs> people with cameras or anything like that, you know, it was just us in our, you know, <laughs> in our underwear playing music. No, uh, <laughs> no, it, no. It, uh, and it was, it was great because we we work best when we sort of lock ourselves away and, and just, and Noxie, our bass player here, did, did all the cooking, cooked for us, and he is a an amazing cook, so you know, yeah. I have to get an applaud. You haven't tasted favorite, it yet. <laughs> favorite dish, favorite dish to cook. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, 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 what's the best? He does an amazing. Yeah, he does all the staples really, really well. But he does an amazing three meat bolognese, right? So it's got veal, meat. pork, and beef. Yeah, n no, you got. Take out the veal. Chorizo, bacon, Whoa. and mince. Uh, it's incredible. It's tasty. It's in yeah, it's good. It's Wait, tasty. beef, bacon, and chorizo? Chorizo, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. dude. Believe yeah. it. Yeah. Right, make sure, write that recipe in the book in the back, in the, in the green room. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try that. So, yeah, we, did, we didn't get an album, but we came back to Stone Heavier. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, so we, 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 we're lucky, though, because we've been friends our whole lives, and... You know, we were nearly friends before the band started, so we can do that and just sort of live together. As I said, we lived in London in the house for a couple of years, and but we worked really well when we just sort of locked ourselves away, and every day we'd just get up, and sometimes we'd play for like five or six hours. Sometimes we might only play for an hour, and we might not be feeling it, or it might be a nice day, so we say, oh, let's go out, or whatever, you know. Um, so, yeah, I think we are lucky, again, from having our own label as well, we sort of... We took control of that that sort of thing and said, let's just make this album the way we want to. There's no mad pressure to write, you know, a hit single or trying to do it for any other reason other than our love for it, like, you know, and and uh, so it worked really well and, and, and we wrote a lot of the songs totally from scratch where we're just looking at each other in a room and someone will start playing something and go, oh, that's cool and all of a sudden lyrics will start coming together and, and, and we'll, we, we just, you know, wrote the songs from scratch. And who knows, at least we tried, I suppose If you could be here, if you could be here Don't speak like that One love, one love, one love One love that you can never give up
I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. I'll take it by. Sing it with me. What love, what love, what love. Just that much, okay? You ready? What love, what love, what love. That's beautiful. And again. What love, what love, what love. What love, what love, what started as well we were uh, we were like a, a student band in Dublin and we we all the shows we played were always loud and like we needed to be louder than the crowd and and I think Connor when we started the band I remember we, us talking about it the four of us going 
like Connor was the best musician by a mile out of the four of us. Like he had mastered his instrument and the other three of us were just sort of trying to wing it. <laughs> and uh, and that stood to us so much to have a rock solid drummer from the word go. So uh, I don't think, yeah. I don't think in terms of the, the songwriting you were asking about, it, well, definitely for when we're all four of us in the room together, Egan's a really, really good uh, indicator of how that's the well second name we call him Egan sorry, yeah. Egan, Connor, yeah. Egan. Connor. Yeah. Eagle e or Eagle <laughs> <laughs> we have nicknames all over the place but uh, how, how well the new song is going because if he has that that sort of arms folded thing I'm not even going to bother to lift my goddamn drumsticks <laughs> 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 we're, not, we're probably not onto a winner like but every now and then sometimes the beat just automatically happens and he didn't notice that it went from being not a song to a song is when uh, yeah. is when, when Egan joined yeah, yeah, <laughs> joined yeah. the song and just played exactly what he felt and you're like right June yeah I got, we, we did all right there I never forget one of the songs he played tonight close to you when we were in Kerry writing it actually and we were slogging away in this other song that was terrible for so for about seven hours like just let's keep go going there might be something in this and it was so bad like and we were just like flogging a dead horse like and eventually. <laughs> We just sort of stopped, and we were just about to say, you know what, we'll just finish for the day. And, and Connor sort of came up with this drum beat out of nowhere. And, like, dum, da -ch, dum, dum, -ch. and all of us just started nodding our heads, and we all just started playing. I had a couple of little chords, and the song was written in 20 minutes. Like, you know what I mean? And even I went upstairs and wrote the lyrics. The, literally, the whole song was probably more or less finished in, in about two hours. Like. And it's funny how, it's, how when, when something, a beat like that can just take control of the song. This is the perfect time now when you're editing this documentary to cut to that song. <laughs> Closer to you again Shuffle, shuffle 
I made a mess As you could have guessed You know when I'm nervous I get stupidly impressed And worst of all They watch you fall You curse them when They don't look back at you You're a bit withdrawn And I said Ooh, 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 ooh. You're a bit withdrawn Just a test, then I won't confess. You know I got purpose, cause I'm suitably dressed. If I came across just a little lost, it hurt me that you think that much of me. I'm a bit withdrawn. You drain from, you drain from your hiding out. So I said, how could you sense that for me? And I don't have to ask, that's what's great about And I'm not quite as brave as I see I'm just too tired to talk So when I look, I'm just a bit with your You know that I'm certain cause I'm virtually obsessed And I forced a smile and it was just in time At worst I'm not much used to anyone but at best I'm fine And the flame's gone, the flame's gone inside you now It's burning up your insides, building up the next fire Train from, you train from, you're hiding out. So I said, How could you sense that for me? And I don't have to ask, that's what's great about that. And I'm not quite as brave as I see. I'm just too tired to talk. Just a bit with your So we not In the olden days, I used to try and finish a song before I'd bring it to the guys. And, it, like, and I'd have it in my head of what I thought it, it would be. And now I just write a little bit and I go, oh, I can't wait until the guys get their hands on this and they'll make it good, you know. And I think Dave, as, as a writer as well, is, is really good at getting the best out of me. Like when I write a line that he thinks I can improve on, he'll go... Yeah, that's okay, but... <laughs> and I'll know straight away what he's actually thinking is, that's shit. <laughs> you can do better. Uh, so, yeah. I think I sent you a text there not so long ago when we were talking about the splits in the army. I was just like, everything I write is to impress you, Dave. That's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody's daughter, somebody's friend Would you notice me, oh Would you notice me, oh And I'm screaming, but you're already leaving And I'm out of my 
yourself Yeah, almost believe that Don't let me waste your time Cause we heard it all before And we never liked that And leave it alone, we don't need to change your minds Cause we never changed it all Yeah, we couldn't fake that Begins. I'll throw you over my shoulder Here we go again Cause we're focusing up Yeah, we're focusing up And I'm screaming But you're already leaving And I'm just mad at myself Yeah, cause I almost believe that Cause we had it all before And we never liked that I'll leave it alone We don't need to change your minds Cause we never changed it all Yeah, we couldn't fake that We couldn't fake that Never like that. Leave it alone, we don't need to change your minds. Cause we never changed it all. Yeah, we couldn't fake that. We couldn't fake that. By now, I love that you don't lie. I try to be bold, but chase it down. Pursue it finally. It's not that I don't appreciate. I love that it's all mine, but I'm not much use at being fake. I'll see this out, blow them all away. Then you'll get your break. Leave with your eye, you fought for it. You should be applauded And it's okay to bleed But it bruise too easily And you can let yourself out I'm much too honest uh, But I'm not sorry I'll take my medicine You'll take the credit This thing could get the better of you If you let it I could have sworn some things have changed We don't fit like we used to It's hard to ignore if it's worth the wait It might just fool you It's not that I don't appreciate How love it can choose you But I'm not much use at playing safe I'll have to see this out and blow them all away Then you'll get your break Leave with your head high you should be applauded And it's okay to bleed But it bruise too easily And 
You can let yourself fall I'm much too honest Ah, uh, but I'm not sorry I'll take my medicine You'll take the credit This thing could get the better of you If you let it hold on I'm not finished Just give me a minute My everything looks so much nicer with you in it And I can't remember how we got so wrapped up in it Hold on, I'm not finished Just give me very much. To be completely honest, my, uh, the most of my knowledge when it comes to politics is when I ask Dave, what, what, who, who do we follow, who do we support? <laughs> and Dave knows a lot more about politics than me and he goes, ah, yeah, no, but like, yeah, it was just never something that I felt comfortable writing about, I suppose. I think um, I, I always try and be really honest with my lyrics. I think I'm the best at writing things when I'm really honest and something that I'm really passionate about. And Although, you know, as I've gotten older, I have gotten into politics, so I suppose I've never felt comfortable writing that. And and, and honestly, for all three reasons that, that you mentioned, you know, um, I don't feel like I need to, you know push my views on, on to other people and you know but then again there is something sometimes it does sort of creep into our lyrics at times you know there, there has been I just think growing up in, in in Ireland and I suppose from our experience kind of like middle class Ireland that a lot of the political parties in Ireland are relatively similar there's not a huge massive divide between between them or whatever and obviously we're aware of what's going on in the world and all that sort of stuff but it's a bit disingenuous to try and take our experience of living in Ireland where you look to England and you look to America and you kind of have a nice kind of middle ground that you don't have to think about too much. <laughs> then for us to try and talk about sort of world politics in a kind of sort of rock indie kind of way, it just comes across as a slightly laboured kind of thing. It's not really what, we're not going to be good at that. That's not, yeah. that's not who we are. That's kind of pretending we're something else or something. So we, we're we kind of happy in our in our spot and we, do, we don't need to, we don't need to, pretend that we support something we don't or, or pretend that we don't support something that we don't feel as strongly about as other people do so it's not it's not our place maybe hey did you guys have a good time tonight yeah. oh my god yeah, we, we had, had a such time. a ball thank, thank you. you guys so much cheers thanks man so so what this is you know just to give you a little bit of a you know what what this sort of is um it it might be a little bit you know you you're you're a, a little bit beyond what this was really meant to do, but there's a lot of bands that that are going to benefit by you being here, because it's going to raise the bar of this exponentially. Um, and this this was always designed to level the playing field for independent musicians, to get them an opportunity to come in and 
and play for an audience and and be on film and and um and I want to thank you. Well, for yeah. Well, we just want to thank to you. To be honest, uh, yeah. No, it, it's funny for us because I said we didn't really know what to expect here. This is a new thing for us now, taking our 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 music properly to the states, and and we've. As you know, we've had some success at home. We've been very blessed that we have success at home. But to be honest, like we we play again, uh, you know, in front of big crowds at home. But we we're actually just talking about it backstage. It's pretty amazing. We didn't really know what to expect coming here tonight. This is uh, one of our favorite gigs we've had in a long time. It's like nothing else we've ever played at. So thank you guys for making us feel so welcome. It's true. Awesome. He's not even lying. That's that is true. We were talking about that. <laughs> it just delights to be here and. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. It's a thank great, you. great night. Thank you so much. Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers.